it was about 6 weeks before i left madurai for good that the great change in my life took place it was quite sudden i was sitting alone in a room on the first floor of my uncle's house i seldom had any sickness and on that day there was nothing wrong with my health but a sudden violent fear of death overtook me there was nothing in my state of health to account for it and i did not try to account or to find out whether there was any reason for the fear i just felt i am going to die and began thinking what to do about it it did not occur to me to consult a doctor or my elder friends i felt that i had to solve the problem myself there and then the shock of the fear of death drove my mind inwards and i said to myself mentally without actually framing the words now death has come what does it mean what is it that is dying the body dies and i at once dramatized the occurrence of death i lay with my limbs stretched out stiff as though rigor mortis had set in and imitated a corpse so as to give greater reality to the inquiry i held my breath and kept my lips tightly closed so that no sound could escape so that neither the word i nor any other word could be uttered well then i said to myself this body is dead it will be carried stiff to the burning ground and there burned and reduced to ashes but with the death of this body am i dead is the body i it is silent and inert but i feel the full force of my personality and even the voice of the i within me apart from it so i am spirit transcending the body the body dies but the spirit that transcends it cannot be touched by death that means i am the deathless spirit all this was not dull thoughts it flashed through me vividly as living truth which i perceived directly almost without thought process i was something very real the only real thing about my present state and all the conscious activities connected with my body was centered on that i from that moment onwards the i or self focused attention on itself by a powerful fascination fear of death had vanished once and for all absorption in the self continued unbroken from that time on other thoughts might come and go like the various notes of music but the i continued like the fundamental shruti note that underlies and blends with all the other notes whether the body was engaged in talking reading or anything else i was still centered on i previous to that crisis i had no clear perception of myself and was not consciously attracted to it i felt no perceptible or direct interest in it much less any inclination to dwell permanently in it your own self realization is the greatest service you can render the world